Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're taking a look at and showing you how to install this roof rack from Rhino Rack. It's going to use their Vortex Aero Bars and be a gutter mount here on our 2021 Jeep Gladiator. It's going to mount into the gutters of your hard top here and give you an adjustable roof rack system while still being very, very sturdy. Let's check it out. Now the star of this kit is going to be the Aero Bars. These towers and gutter mounts actually come ready to go for Rhino Rack's HD bars. But with this kit, you get your adapter piece and the aero bars on top. I like the aero bars just a bit more because they're a little more aerodynamic, going to give you less wind noise, and it's going to be just easier to mount accessories on there. They're a more normal shape, so clamp around accessories aren't going to have as difficult a time of attaching, and that t track is going to be a more standard size. So again, it works with more accessories, and I think just makes for a more functional roof rack system. This is going to be a 59 inch long crossbar, which as you can see on the Gladiator, doesn't really leave any room for much overhang. If you've got something like a load assist kayak carrier you wanna get on here, you might consider upgrading to longer bars just so you can have some of that overhang. Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty much fit exactly to the roof of your Gladiator. You can get them in black like you see here or a silver crossbar. Functionally, they're gonna be the exact same. It really just comes down to the looks and what matches your Jeep and your style the best. Underneath the bars, between the roof and the crossbar, you've got about two and a half inches of space, so that's the room you have for clamp around accessories. And the overall height added to the top of your roof is gonna be three and a half inches. So they're pretty low profile, and just keep in mind, whatever accessory you do put on top is gonna to add more height to that. The end caps use a special tool to lock up, so without that, you can't get them unlocked. That's gonna keep the T-Track inside secure. It does come with weather stripping to lock into the T-Track there to cut down on wind noise, but you can remove it entirely like we have in this section here or cut it to length to fit around whatever accessories you choose to put in there. It's really up to you and how you're gonna use it. Personally, I would just leave it in and go ahead and use clamp around accessories. That way we don't have to cut any of it up. And if we have a variety of accessories, we can make sure everything's always filled in. The piece that makes this all possible for your hardtop is the gutter mount. It's gonna slot into the rain gutter right here and clamp around the bottom of it. It gets a really strong hold on there. And the nice thing about the gutter mount is that you can pretty much slide it along the entire length of the roof and set it to whatever crossbar spread you need. The one thing about gutter mounts that I've had issues with them in the past is how bulky the clamps are. With some systems like the exposed racks roof racks, I've seen instances where when you open the door, the weather stripping here, or in some cases, even the door panel itself will make contact with that clamp. But with the way these Rhino racks sit on here, there's not any sort of clearance issues on any of the doors. So for me, that's a huge win yeah. because I don't want that making contact with clamps. The crossbars have a 165 pound weight capacity, but the gutter mounts specifically don't list a weight capacity. Rhino Rack suggests that you actually go by the roof weight capacity. So whatever your hard top's rated at, go by that number, and that's going to be the overall weight capacity of your roof rack system. And the install process is gonna be really straightforward. Even with the adapter piece to make these gutter mounts work with the aero bars is simple to get set up. So let's go ahead and walk you through that process now. The first thing you wanna do is set up your gutter mounts. There's a couple things you wanna take note of. These screws on the bottom that actually hold the clamp in place, you want those loose so that the clamp can actually move around and adjust. It's just easier to get it around the gutter that way, having them loose from the start. Then from there, we've got these rubber sleeves that'll just sit on top of the piece that actually sits in the gutter, just as a bit of grip and padding. Then on top, we've got our T-bolt. Now this is gonna come ready to go for Rhino Rack's HD bars. We actually wanna undo this and utilize the adapters included in our kit to make the aero bars work. So you can set these pieces all to the side. You're not gonna need them for this install, but maybe hang on to them in case you decide to upgrade later on. Now from here, our adapters are gonna include a long bolt, a lock washer, this larger square washer that's going to be kind of like a goldish color. We can feed that from underneath up through the top. On top, we can add our plastic adapter piece as well as our T-bolt. Just thread that on. This is actually what's gonna sit in the channel of the aero bar. Just get that threaded on loosely for now. Then we can come to the end of our crossbars and install these. We've already got the crossbar flipped upside down with the end caps off. That just slides in place with the actual clamp facing the outside. I'm just gonna tighten that up by hand for now. 
enough that I can still move it around, but it's tight enough that it's not gonna move too much on its own. From there, we can take our end cap and just install those on the ends of the crossbar. Use your tool to lock that in place so that nothing slides out accidentally. Repeat that on the other side, and then we can get this on the roof. It could come in handy to have an extra set of hands on the other side to help guide this into the gutter over there, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna kind of loosely set it in place, get this side started, and then I can go over there. So just set that in place in the gutter, wrap that clamp around, get it set roughly where you want it. We'll measure it out in a second, and then repeat that on the other side. Before clamping anything down, take some measurements. Go from one crossbar to the other, center on center, and make sure that that measurement on both sides is the exact same. This is important to get our crossbar spread for any accessories we wanna maybe mount up. And we want that measurement to be the same on both sides because that's gonna ensure that our bars are running parallel to each other. I've already got the other side measured out and right over here, we're looking pretty much on the dot. So I can go ahead and clamp this down now. For the clamp, you wanna make sure that it's resting firmly underneath the gutter and making solid contact. If it's only grabbing on by just the tip or just not enough contact, loosen up the screws here, get it to wrap around properly, and once it's firmly in place, we can tighten it down using that specially keyed tool. The last thing we need to do is tighten down our crossbar. Those bolts that we left underneath kind of loose, that's gonna control our side to side spread. Now there's not really a whole lot of room for overhang on these bars, so they're looking pretty good as is. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my 10 millimeter wrench and tighten those down. If you decided to get longer crossbars and you're just piecing a kit together yourself, you will probably wanna take a measurement of that overhang on both sides to make sure it matches and that everything's even. And just like that, your install is done. You can give it a good old shake test and make sure that nothing's going anywhere. And I'd say it's pretty good as is. It's gonna be a really straightforward install process and expand the functionality of your roof, allowing you to mount accessories in the T-Track or clamping around and just improve the overall function of your Jeep. I think it's gonna be a really nice addition to the Gladiator here, but that'll do it for our look and installation at this Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Bar roof rack. Thanks for watching.